What is up guys, Cole here with Alliance Wake and today we're bringing you yet another test drive. We have a special treat though. This is a brand new boat coming from Sea Ray and it is the SDX 270 Surf. Now you might be asking yourself, what is this boat? This boat is a water sports vessel. Now, you're gonna be able to do pretty much anything your heart desires if you wanna get out there on the water. Um, where I will say it shines is within the name. It's got surf in the name and that is a fact. The wave behind this boat is pretty immaculate. We'll dive deeper into that in a second. Some of the other great features are the drivability and just the overall space. This is a 27 foot boat and it definitely feels that way when you're riding in it. Now, as far as who this boat is for, you could say it's for a water sports family, but that don't wanna put it in that box. Um, we also have a great entertainability factor in this boat. You know, with all that room, you can have a lot of friends and you're gonna have plenty of room to maneuver around that boat and you're not gonna feel crowded. So you can be out there all day, lounging in the sun, doing your thing, and you're gonna have all the room in the world and that's what you want when you're spending all day on the water. The length of this boat is 27 feet and two inches. The beam across is eight feet and six inches. This holds 75 gallons of fuel, and as far as ballast goes, it's holding 1,900 pounds of ballast. We also have a nice curved windshield, and we also have that tapered transom, just giving this boat an overall nice, clean look. You can definitely tell Sea Ray took their time with designing this new boat. Between the layout of the boat and the storage that they have, along with the stitching in the interior and the way that is all designed, it just feels like a good fit and finish. All right, so now we're up at the front of the SDX 270 Surf, and we're gonna start with this walkthrough. And to kick things off, right here at the nose, we have the anchor system, which is super easy. It's windless, so there's no manual labor. It's all electric, it does it for you. And the cool part is that anchor is always there if you need it. Um, also, underneath, we have a ladder. And now when you put this ladder, you also have a ladder in the back, but now you can climb up here when you're beached. And then what's even better is they have a little shower system for your feet when they get a little dirty. You can pull this bad boy out, spray your feet down, and now you're not getting your boat all dirty, which is really nice. On top of all these features on the nose, we have the sea decking covering it all. That way you've got a good grip, whether you're climbing off and on, maybe you're standing off the nose fishing, anything you got, you're always gonna have a nice, sure footing underneath you. Now, as far as the rest of the nose go, we have a lot of space on this 27 foot boat. Um, we also have a bow filler cushion that will go here. So you really can lay out and put a bunch of kids. You and your partner can lounge up here comfortably and, and catch some rays. Uh, we do have storage underneath this seat here. This lifts up. It isn't on a hinge system. You do have to move the seat back and forth, but you do have some nice room in there. Same goes for up here, but this is more of a cooler situation. You can pack it full of ice. It lets the water flow out. You also could use it as wet storage. That's up to you. This last seat right here, it is not gonna really go anywhere because you have the head underneath. So there's no storage there because you have a lot more storage behind it. You always have cup holders on boats. That's the same case here. You got cup holders on both sides. You've got a nice little grippy pad for your phone or any of your other personables you don't want really moving around. So now we're gonna make our way back toward the boat and we have a nice big windshield, nice and curved surrounding the whole boat. It does lock into place right here. You wanna pull that bad boy, get her closed. We also have uh, another windshield here that you can deploy and that will give you a nice good coverage from the wind coming in the boat. On this side over here, this is where you're gonna store your tables. You know, you've got different slots in the boat where you can put those tables down, enjoy a nice lunch. What's really cool about this 27 foot boat, there's a lot of room. So they were capable of putting in a head, which is pretty sweet. Um, in here, we've obviously got the toilet, but we have a sink to wash up. Um, you've also got some cushion in there if you wanna take a quick nap. It's definitely more size for some children, so if you've got kids and it's cold and you're making a run back to the dock, 
just chuck them in there and they'll stay warm real easy like. On this sweet looking windshield, we do have a PTM rear view mirror here, fully adjustable up, down, side to side, left, right. And it's nice and big, so you're gonna be able to see everything and everyone behind you. On this top deck here, uh, this doesn't move or there's nothing really going on, but it is nice and textured. If you wanna lay something up here while you're hanging out, it's not gonna slide around. So that's actually a really nice feature. Over here on the port side, we also have our glove box. It's a nice, simple glove box. It's not the biggest, but it definitely can store phones and keys and wallets very easily. Uh, this boat is all decked out in Fusion Marine Audio. Uh, so that is gonna have a head unit right here to control the volume. If your passenger you know, wants to switch it up on you, they can control that. Underneath over here, you have a Fusion speaker. You know, this boat is kind of surrounded with speakers, so pretty much anywhere you're gonna sit, you're gonna have audio in your ears. As far as seating goes, we do have a nice seat here. Uh, this backrest, though, is reversible, so you can bring this backrest this way and lean back and kind of have more room to sit and lounge, push it back when you wanna look forward and enjoy the ride. Now we've jumped over and we're in the helm, the captain's chair the control center, this is where it all goes down. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed was how different this seating was to a typical bolstered seat. This backrest is fully adjustable. You just move it forward, back. Other than that, you don't really have any other adjustability besides the bolster seat on the bottom. You can just simply pull that up, sit down, and now you got a better over top view. But the other thing about this is you've got a lot of seating next to you. So whether you have your little one or your lady, they can ride with you while you're driving. So I think that's really cool. Kind of makes the driving experience a little bit more personable with whoever you're with. Now, as far as the throttle goes, you have a lot of features within this general area. Um, you obviously can put it in gear, out of gear. Your start and stop button is right here at the bottom. So you wanna turn your key on. You'll just hit this push to start and you're up and running. We've got the tab control right here, up and down, so you don't have to be fidgeting with the screens. You can be looking forward and looking at your rider and adjust the wave or the plane of the boat as you're going. We also have the ability to adjust the brightness settings over here, and then we have active trim and the profile settings at your fingertips. Underneath the throttle here, we have a little section, obviously of a cup holder, but we have a little section for your phone to sit and rest and wirelessly charge. Kind of moving forward here at the helm, we've got our trim tabs up and down here on the right. Those are real nice and accessible and really prominent as far as knowing when you're pushing up and pushing down. And then on the left side here, we do have some good old classic switches. You know, I love some switches. That way you know when it's on and you know when it's off. You've got your blower, your running lights, your docking lights, uh, you've got your horn. You can also control your anchor from here. You know, a lot of good, quick options right here at your fingertips. Another thing here, we have the steering wheel. Uh, this steering wheel is covered in leather. It does feel pretty nice. It's definitely not super high end, um, but it feels nice and solid and you feel like you have good control of the boat. This boat does come with the audio package and that means you will have a subwoofer and that is right underneath your seat. So you'll be feeling that all day. You also have another Fusion speaker right here by your knees. So you definitely got some good audio coming your way. Now in between these switches right behind the steering wheel, you do have a little spot to put your phone. It's a nice little uh, traction pad. So that is also a nice little storage location. Now the last thing we're gonna check out here at the helm is the dual nine inch digital dash Simrad NSX with the Mercury SmartCraft Connect. Now these two screens are mirrored. So, you know, you could have whatever controls you want on the left, whatever controls on the right, you can have them have the exact same controls. I think this is a really nice plug and play system to set it up how you want it. That's what's cool about these screens is you control what you wanna see. Kind of getting into it here, you've got the screen that has all your vitals, you know. And then on the right side over here for us, we had the Smart Toe Surf system um, ready to turn off and on and have all the controls right here at your fingertips. Now what's really cool that Mercury has done with this Smart Toe Surf is they've really made this wave 
customizable. Typically, you kind of get stuck with what you get, and that's not the case here. Whether you're a skim rider or a surf style rider, you really can dial in the wave to be exactly what you want. And that also goes for maybe you're a beginner and you just need a small wave or you're a little kid and you don't need the most monstrous wave. You can really dial that in with the tabs and the trim and just really make that wave unique to you. So that's something really special that they figured out. And I will say that these adjustments are really fast. You do have the ability to surf left, surf right, right here at your fingertips. You can also control the speed and the launch setting. Now the launch setting, you have more beginner, you want to lower launch setting so you're not jerking them up out of the water. Maybe you're new to pulling water sports and that is going to help you get those new riders up and out of the water with ease. Also here, we've got the ballast system. You click fill all, they fill. Below that, you can just hit the advance and you can see the levels of where they're at. On the left side here, you do have the ability to, to monitor your audio. You can adjust your audio, connect Bluetooth, all that stuff. You do have switch control here for your ballast. So there's multiple ways to access that. And at the top here, you have cruise control. You can also set these screens up to have navigation, whether you're out there in the ocean or you're on a big lake. You do have that ability. You do have the echo sonar system going on, so you can really figure out your depth. Like I said, the options are endless as far as how you want to set it up. It's all up to you. Now we're at the tower on the SDX 270 Surf. This tower does fold down, so that's super nice. Uh, but we also have the audio package going on. So you've got two big tower speakers here giving you plenty of audio for the rider. Uh, we do have a bimini here that folds out and covers pretty much the entire area where you're going to be sitting. So if it's raining and you're up here in the driver's seat, you're not going to get wet. So that's super nice. As we move on here, we have the PTM board racks going on. And I think this is updated for PTM. These are actually pretty sweet. They kind of have a new way of clamping, but like PTM always does, they make good quality stuff. Uh, this board rack right, swings in real nice. Got these two tabs here. Pop those bad boys and your board comes out real easy. Same goes in. And what's new is these kind of pump them up. And you kind of just keep pumping them up until they get to a tension level that works for you. Pull the tab underneath, swing her on out again, and you're good to go. Now the last thing about the tower is obviously you've got your normal toe point here in the middle, but you do have the surf toe points on the left and right side. That way it keeps the rope out of the way um, if you want to go that route. As we continue on here in the center of the boat, we have some really good seating options. This is a 27 foot boat, like I've said before, so you know there's a lot of room. And the way they've laid this boat out, it's very easy to move through it, but it also has plenty of seating. Over here on the port side, we do have a nice big storage locker. And in here, we are able to store a surfboard. And I think that's really sweet. This is a four six in here. Probably could add another foot of, a, of length on a board and still be able to fit it. Um, and then on this side, we have the uh, platform that the front bow cushion is going to sit on and the cushions are sitting back here and obviously you could store a bunch more stuff in here so that's really nice and deep so you can have that option to store what you need now over here on the starboard side this is uh, another cooler option but it also to me works as a wet storage so you can take your wet vest wet ropes throw it in there and it's got a drain so that way your wet stuff's out of the way and it's also draining out at the same time. Again, we have fusion speakers back here. Um, so you're obviously getting surrounded with some more sound, but on each side, we have some traction here. That way your stuff's not sliding around, but you also have cup holders. But the other cool thing is we have more inductive chargers for that wireless charging capability of your phone. And we have the classic USB-A and C options as well if you wanna plug in for a quicker charge. So it's real nice to be able to charge multiple phones back here, whether you're plugged in or wireless charging, you'll be able to stay charged up all day. Now the last seat here in this section has no storage because underneath resides the engine. Now this underneath is a 6.2 liter, 350 horsepower engine by Mercury with the Bravo 4S drive, that forward facing drive underneath with the dual counter spinning props gives a really enjoyable ride. 
and it has really good control when driving. You want to reverse, it goes where you want it to go. You're not having trouble having to only reverse to the right side because that's the only way the boat wants to go. This boat makes driving effortless. Now as we make our way back to the transom, we kind of come through this little hallway here. And the first thing you notice is the huge sun pad. This is a convertible sun pad. And the reason it's convertible is because this backrest is adjustable. You can lay that down. Now you're fully asleep, passed out, getting your suntan on. You can also lift that thing back up. Now you've got a nice back cushion. This is huge. You could fit three, four people on this comfortably and enjoy your time without being in the way of people coming through. I, I think that's a great feature on this boat and it definitely stands out to me. Over here on the sun pad, we do have music control. Uh, you've got the fusion control panel. This thing pops off. Uh, it's got a battery and you can control the boat from anywhere inside it. If you did lose those, they are replaceable, but it is cool because it's Bluetooth. We have some more USB controls and some cup holders. Also, like I said, just like up front, you do have a little shower head to be able to wash your feet off or whatever you need to do when you're coming aboard the boat again. That way you're not getting your boat all dirty. Now on the side where the hallway is, there is a storage locker here. Got some nice hydraulics, it comes up real easy. You know, the options are endless as far as what you wanna utilize that for, just more room to put more stuff. Now, sometimes being on the lake's a little hectic and you kind of forget to do a few things. And I'm sure there's been moments where you went to trailer your boat and you didn't fully trim up like you needed to. And once you got it out of the water, you're like, hmm, well, I need that up. So now they actually have a button here and you can control your trim right here after you put it on the trailer. So that's super nice that you don't have to go and turn it on, do everything just right here with a flip of a button. Now we're at the end of the transom here and there's a couple things going on I'd like to show you. Starting with the ladder over here, real simple. You're gonna lift this up. You're gonna pull this out, deploy the ladder, set it back down. Now your ladder's out for people wanting to climb aboard real easy. We also have another option to get in and out of and it also goes with the lounging capabilities of this boat. You've got this that folds down into the water. Once you put it into the water, you just want to hit a little latch, lock it into place, and now you've got a stepping platform for whoever wants to come in and out. You can sit there on it. You can do, honestly, whatever your heart desires, but that's a really another cool feature they've added to the back of the transom. To top it off throughout the whole boat, it is covered in sea deck, so you have good grip underneath your feet all day long. It's easy to clean, and you're not gonna be slipping and blowing out your ankles. You always love some good sea deck in this boat, and they've done a good job laying it out. Now having surf in the name, you can obviously expect to have a great wave and that is exactly what happened here. I was pleasantly surprised the first time we got that boat up on plane and saw that wave. Uh, I was actually pretty blown away, to be honest. What was really cool is when Faith got out there, you know, skim style and surf style, you're definitely wanting two different kind of waves. And what's really cool that Sea Ray has done, they've made it very easy to manipulate that wave to dial it in to exactly your specs and make it work for you. And that's really what you want, especially when you're spending all this money, you don't wanna struggle with having to set up a wave and spend all that time getting it perfect. Just a couple of pushes of some buttons, adjust the trim, and man, you have a perfect wave. As far as size goes, this is comparable with any boat out there on the market. And that's just with stock ballast. Obviously you want to add more weight, you're going to get a bigger wave. And as far as push goes, there was not a dead spot in the wave. Plenty of push, not struggling to stay with it. I mean, every aspect of this wave competes with anything out there. So I think if you're looking for a boat that surfs and does more, this is definitely an option for you. Another aspect of water sports we wanted to check out is the wakeboard wake. And this boat is definitely more catered toward that surf side but it is a water sports boat, so you can do it all, and we wanted to test that. Now, when we got behind this thing, we were riding anywhere from 60 to 65 feet, and that seems to be where the wake wants to clean up real nice. Um, I will say that it does take a little adjusting to get that wake dialed in, um, but as far as a rider, this is definitely gonna be a wake for somebody that's just starting out 
You know, it's not gonna be the biggest thing that's intimidating. It's very open and friendly to get someone out there for the first time and get them behind the boat. Now, if you're really wanting to progress your riding, I would say that this might not be the best option, but to get out there and ride with your friends and have a good time, it's gonna do just that. Well, that about wraps it up for today with this test drive behind the Sea Ray SDX 270 Surf. I'm stoked you guys were able to join along today and get a good walkthrough and a feel of what this boat has to offer. There's obviously options and different styles and colors that you can have in this boat. So if you wanna know more, head over to SeaRay.com and design your own. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below, we'll try to get back to you. But also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any test drives coming out in the future. I'm Cole and we'll see you on the next one.